Today on the AI Breakdown Brief, we have updates from Google and Amazon, the latest in open source LLMs, and a new product from OpenAI that could create text to 3D printing in the coming months. What's going on, guys? Back with another AI Breakdown Brief, all the headline AI news that you need in five minutes or less. We're starting today with actually something that's not news so much as just a resource. Hugging Face last week launched their daily papers feature. It's huggingface.co slash papers. And this is basically a place where you can find all of the latest research coming out of AI. So they've got here avatar fingerprinting for authorized use of synthetic talking head videos. You can see the talking head generator, really cool stuff. And it goes on and on and on. This is just a great place to see what the bleeding edge is. So it's something that I've Bookmarked, and I wanted to make sure you guys could too. But with that, we move to our next topic, which is what big companies are doing to keep themselves fresh and competitive in the era of AI. We've heard a lot about how Google might be changing their search experience, a search experience that has been very consistent for the past 20 years. Project Magi is the code name for their search initiative, and it sounds like later this week we may actually be getting more information about that as they have their big developer conference. It's their IO developer conference that's happening this week. So apparently what we're going to see is a shift away in how they present their search results. There's going to be more short video, more social media posts. They're calling it snackable, which is a very marketing type word. But I think the main thing here, holding aside any of the specifics, is that there is just a new experience that people expect and a new type of user interface that's wrought in part by AI. Amazon likewise is is looking to change the way that Alexa works. Now, on their recent earnings call, we heard their CEO talk about how they needed to build, or they were in the process of building an even more powerful LLM to underlie Alexa, but it sounds like it's not just the technology underneath, it's what Alexa actually does that they're reconsidering. One example that they give is Alexa generating a bedtime story after an eight-year-old asks it to tell a story about a cat and the moon. If they develop that sort of creative capacity, it also opens up all sorts of new partnership opportunities like Disney. Again, I think the thing that's important here is less the specifics of whatever Alexa might do. And in fact, I think we're kind of over-indexing for the importance of personal assistance in the era of AI. But what matters is that Amazon is fundamentally reimagining its strategy on the basis of this new technology. Next up, we move over to the world of open source. Of course, one of the big stories from last week was that leaked Google researcher note about how open source is destined to beat Google and OpenAI and all of the closed approaches to AI. And we're seeing a lot more progress. I mean, it is coming hard and fast. We talked a little bit recently about Red Pajama, which is an open source version of Facebook's Llama, which if you're a parent, you'll get the joke. And they've just updated releasing new 3 billion and 7 billion parameter insight family of models that include base instruction tuned and chat models. So more to work with for developers there. We also had Mosaic jump into the space with their MPT7B, a new standard for open source. They're calling it commercially usable LLMs. They say that it was trained on the Mosaic ML platform in nine and a half days with zero human intervention at a cost of 200K. And with this tool, developers can now train, fine tune and deploy their own private MPT models. Speaking of people deploying their own models, Brian Rommel writes with Wizard Vicuna M1, we now have an almost a chat GPT 3.5 running on your local hard drive on a simple modern computer. No internet needed after download. Personal private AI you own. In the space of six weeks, we have moved to the Cambrian explosion. Using chat GPT 4 as a judge, Wizard Vicuna LM is almost equal. This is exactly what that anonymous Google author was talking about. Just an incredible rate of innovation from independent developers. Finally, I wanted to call out a new product from OpenAI called Shape E. This is Alex Nickel, one of the lead researchers and developers on it. He writes, super excited to release Shape E, our latest work on 3D generative modeling. So effectively, this is text to 3D modeling. And you can see the samples they have here are a chair that looks like an avocado, an airplane that looks like a banana, a spaceship, a birthday cupcake, a chair that looks like a tree, etc. This obviously has a ton of applications from VFX to gaming to 3D printing. Rowan Chung here says text to 3D printers are about to be a thing very soon. So now we have text to image. Increasingly, we have text to video and now text to 3D printing. This is obviously very nascent, especially compared to those other two, but it still seems like the trajectory is clear and people are going to increasingly be able to input their ideas in text and have them come to life in the real world. 
That's it for today's AI breakdown brief. If you are enjoying this, if you're finding it useful, please give this video a like or subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back in a little bit for the main AI breakdown.